A former LAX 18 reporter says her entire family was diagnosed with COVID-19 shortly after welcoming a new baby home from the hospital. Relieved that everyone is okay, Molly Grantham is sharing what her symptoms looked like and how the virus affected her 10-day-old son. LAX 18's Katherine Collins reports. Our entire family has COVID. That's how Charlotte, North Carolina news anchor and former LEX 18 reporter Molly Grantham began writing her story about the surreal experience that's followed the birth of her third child. It has been a crazy, crazy three weeks. Just days after returning home from the hospital where Grantham tested negative for COVID-19, she says her nine-year-old daughter started to feel sick. Just a lot of symptoms of things that seemed like a normal bad stomach bug. But it turns out when the test came back three or four days later, we realized definitely was COVID. And by that point, we'd all been kissing on the baby and loving on each other and realized that we all had it. At just 10 days old, her newborn was tested and ruled a presumptive positive. Grantham says doctors told her to watch his breathing overnight. I'm just looking at his breath all night long, trying to see if the stomach's going up and down versus in and out, which you can kind of laugh about now because we're all OK. But in the t in the moments at two and three and four in the morning, we it was, it was frightening. It was frightening. She had body aches and a pounding headache. Her husband lost his sense of smell and taste. The virus seemed to act differently in each member of the family of five. And our symptoms, it went from like very mild symptoms to mine were maybe, I guess, the most severe, even though I didn't know it. Um, you just, it can be anything. It's, it's like symptoms all over the place. And our whole household had very different symptoms. As a storyteller, she says she did what she knows. She wrote about her experience on social media. The post has now been shared over 64,000 times. Thankfully, her family is okay. But it's her hope, she says, people will see what they went through and know it's real. Katherine Collins, LEX 18 News.